Hello everyone, this is Shadow the Rat, and in this video I wanted to talk about what you can do once you're down to one rat. So what you do is greatly going to depend on your last rat, and also if you plan on continuing to keep rats as pets. So if you plan on continuing to keep rats as pets, it's pretty easy to just introduce another rat or few to your remaining rat. I would recommend introducing younger rats if possible. Between 8 and 12 weeks of age is going to be best because rats in this age range are old enough to defend themselves, but at the same time they're also going to be viewed as less of a threat by the older rat just because they're not in that territorial stage yet which usually occurs after 12 weeks. So yeah, if you want to continue having rats, the easiest thing to do is going to be introducing a pair of younger rats. I would say introduce a pair if possible because these younger rats are going to be very high energy and you don't want them to be annoying your older rat. Also, younger rats tend to do better if they have a same age cage mate. It just lets them play and get out their energy and when they're done, they can go and be good companions for your older rat. Then you also have the option of getting an adult rat for your rat to bond with. However, you will probably have to go through a bit of a longer introduction just because these rats are going to be a little bit more territorial and unless your rat is super accepting of new rats, then they're going to need to be properly introduced before they can live together easily. So if you don't plan on having more rats, what you do is greatly going to depend on the rat itself. If they seem depressed without their cage mates, then you definitely want to consider maybe either fostering another rat, some shelters will let you foster a rat in this way, or foster several rats and then when your rat passes you can see if you can help find adopters for them, or you could try borrowing someone's rat. And what I mean by this is that some people will lend out their rats to someone who is not planning on having more rats but has one more rat remaining, and these rats can bond with the new rat and live out the rest of their life with them, and then once your rat passes you can just give them back to the person who lent them to you in the first place. And then there are some other options here, of course you can just not get any more rats, you can have your rat live out the rest of their life as a single rat. Now if your rat is older, like 18 months, 2 years, or maybe older than that, then this can be an option that's not too bad, just because these rats are usually nearing the mid to end of their life. Not saying that all rats are going to die at this age, however you do know that statistically rats do tend to start slowing down at this point, so living alone might be less traumatizing on them than if they were younger. However, of course it's always best if possible to house your rat with other rats, so just keep that in mind. If you think that your rat is super depressed and that they would do better in another home, you might even consider adopting them out to someone who has other rats. Of course, this is a very difficult decision, and I have to admit that I don't think I would be able to do this. I think that I would probably end up just trying to take care of the solo rat to the best of my ability. I had gerbils in the past who I did this with. Now, gerbils are a lot harder to introduce to new gerbils than rats are to rats. However, it's the same concept. They're very social creatures, so like rats, you don't really want to keep them alone. But I would usually have my gerbils passing away at like a year and a half or two, and at that point when I had one remaining, I wouldn't get new gerbils, I would usually just let that one live out the rest of their life in solo. I'd give them some extra free range time, I might trick train with them some more, and yes I did trick train my gerbils, that was a lot of fun. But yeah, I would trick train with them more, I would take them out of the cage and just interact with them. And gerbils aren't really the most hands on pets most of the time, so oftentimes it would be more of me taking them out to a new area, just letting them explore a little more than I used to. These same concepts can be applied to rats, if you're down to your last rat and you can't adopt or buy more rats and you also can't foster or borrow a rat from someone, then you might just end up giving them more time if possible, give them more out of cage time, if they're into cuddles, try cuddling with them more, if they're still playful, there's lots of fun games you can play with rats like using a string to have them chase it around or hand wrestling or stuff like that. You can also try trick training, I know all of my girls like trick training, and when I had to house Shadow alone for a bit, then trick training and cuddling were definitely her favorite activities. You can consider walking around the house with them on your shoulder, or even getting a bonding pouch. And yeah, you just want to try to keep your rat happy as best possible. I would probably give them some more foraging toys and other stuff like that. Just try to keep them busy and occupied. But yeah, this is a very much personal decision, and it depends on a lot of factors. So you definitely want to think about that. It's a good idea to have a plan in place for what you're going to do after one of your rats passes. Otherwise, if you plan on having more rats, then it's actually a good idea to adopt more rats when you're down to two. And this is because once you're down to two rats, then if one passes, you're going to have to go through the whole introduction process. You might even decide to quarantine your new rats for a few weeks. And it's best to always have your rats living with other rats if possible. So to prevent this, if you introduce new rats when you're down to two rats, then you're not going to have the issue of any of the rats being alone. And again, I always 
always recommend introducing rats in pairs or more just because that's a lot easier on the new rats. Also, if you have older rats who you are introducing younger rats to, you want the younger rats to have someone to play with and get their energy out with instead of just having them try to annoy the older rat into playing. This way you can also have less friction between your rats because they'll get their energy out together and then they'll go and cuddle with the older rat. So yeah, those are my thoughts on this. If you have any other suggestions for people on what they can do once they get down to their last rat, then feel free to post it in the comments below. Other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and if you would like more tips and tricks on rat care or rat trick training, feel free to visit my website at www.rattricks.weebly.com, link in the description. Other than that, I hope to see you next time. Bye!